Today's do-it-yourselfer has plenty of options of affordable test tools. One of the more popular options is the clamp-on ammeter. These are no longer just for measuring amperage. You can actually measure voltage, amps, hertz, capacitance. You can even do temperature. You can do non-contact voltage testing. But which clamp-on ammeter do you buy? There's so many options out there. Well, in today's video, I'm actually going to show you two of the more popular options. This is the Klein CL800, and this is the Fluke 323. Now these are pretty comparable in price. So let's look at these side by side and just see which one is the better option for you. So as I stated, we'll be comparing the Klein CL800 with the Fluke 323. Now first we'll discuss the Fluke 323. This is your basic AC clamp-on ammeter. And as you can see, it has a lever that opens up the amperage test clamp. It also has volts AC setting that that's the V with the wavy line, volts DC, that's the V with the solid and dashed line, resistance and continuity setting, and then of course AC amperage. Now this one will only measure AC amps and not DC. It has your hold button which holds your value in once you've completed your test. And that's it. That's all that the Fluke 323 is capable of measuring. Not shown here, it does come with a user manual. It also comes with the carrying case and the test leads that just took right into the bottom for your voltage and continuity checks. Now, at the time of this recording, the normal price for the Fluke 323 is about $197. Right now, it's on sale on Amazon for $129, so that's a pretty good value for this meter. Next up is the Klein Tools CL800 clamp-on amperage meter. Now, the CL800 actually has many more features than the Fluke 323 had. I'll go through each each one and show you the difference. Of course, you have your lever to open up your clamp. Now, this one also has a lead holder here, which is pretty handy. When you're doing your measurements, you can clip in one of your leads right here. That keeps a hand free. Okay, so the first feature on the Klein CL800 is the volts AC. Again, that's the V with the wavy line. It'll also do in that same spot the volts AC by just pushing the shift button there. So far, that's the same as the Fluke. We'll flip it up to the amp setting. Now this one, as you'll see, has amps AC, just like the Fluke had, but it also has amps DC, which is very handy for testing DC circuits. Next up is your resistance and continuity setting, and that's that one. It's the Omega horseshoe symbol, also with the speaker symbol for the continuity. Also, it has a third setting with the press of the button, puts it into the diode, and that's the little triangle with the line. That's the diode settings. So this is an additional feature that the Fluke didn't have. We'll flip it up one more time. Now we're into the Hertz setting, and that is to check your frequency. You can use that for checking the frequency of your AC power system. Also, it has a percent sign now. On meters, that stands for duty cycle. So if you push your orange select button, it puts it into your duty cycle, and you can check the duty cycle of a motor that way. So that's pretty handy. The Fluke did not have that option. We'll flip it up one more time and now we're into the capacitance setting. Now you can check your AC capacitor for your air conditioning system or any small capacitor that you might find on a circuit card. That's also an additional handy feature that the Klein Tools CL800 has. We'll flip it up one more time and this is the Fahrenheit and Celsius temperature setting. With the occluded adapter, you just plug that right into the bottom of the clamp-on ammeter and it will tell you the temperature in either Fahrenheit height or you can switch it over to Celsius and you can actually see the temperature of the area you're working in or the temperature of a component you want to check in that setting. Now that's an additional feature as well that the CL800 has. And then lastly you have your low impedance there. That's a feature that not many homeowners might use but it is a handy feature. Now back to the bottom the Klein Tool 8 CL800 also has a range button. You can manually change your range with that. You have your min max. You have your zero underneath your select button and also this button right here, the NCV. That, now that stands for non-contact voltage tester. So that's really handy. A lot of people have to buy that tool separately, but the Klein CL800 builds that right in. Now to use that, you'd put it down into your AC voltage. You hit that button. And when you're holding it down, if you bring it towards any kind of power source, it actually lights up red. So you can see when you have a power on or power off condition. Now, as you can see here, the Klein CL800 is going to come with 
the handy carrying case is quite a bit bigger than the flute case. It also has your temperature probe adapter. Like I said before, that just plugs right into the bottom and then your temperature sensor is on the other end. It also has your red and black meter leads, of course. At the time of this recording, this meter normally goes for about $179, so it's actually a little bit cheaper than the Fluke, which is amazing considering all the extra features that it does include. Now, right now it's on sale, so you can expect to pay about $118 to $179 US dollars for this, but it is worth every penny spent. This meter will truly eliminate the need for even a multimeter because it does everything and more, including that non-contact voltage testing. Now, I've included links to both the Klein and the Fluke meters in the description below, so check those out. Hopefully in today's video, I've helped you decide which meter would be best fit for your needs and best fits your budget, but honestly, I think we have one clear winner, folks. The Klein CL800 just outpowers in so many ways with features, size, accessories, and the price. Now, Fluke is a trusted brand, but Klein is on the rise and is trusted by many professional electricians. If you've had experience with both of these meters, drop a comment below. Let us know what your experience is using both of them. Now that we've reviewed these two clamp-on ammeters, hopefully you can decide which one will work better for you and your budget. For me, there's one clear winner, and that's the Klein CL800. For the price, just a few dollars more than the Fluke, it does so much more. And if you found value in this video, please, please subscribe to the channel here and watch our next video here.